why we don't need to fundamentally transform America. We need to restore America. Sarah Palin's appearance in Iowa, the state that sometimes American sends presidential people, hopefuls aloft or quickly down to right. earth, capped a week with her at the center of the political stage in the role of insurgent cheerleader. It's time for no more business as usual. It is time to take our country back. True to her word, Palin has been pushing Republican renegades to victory over more establishment choices. Christine O'Donnell's stunning upset in the Delaware GOP Senate primary Thank you, Governor Palin. would probably not have happened without the former Alaska governor's blessing. When she decides to get involved in an election, uh, her star power uh, does something for candidates. But questions linger about some she endorses. In Kentucky, Rand Paul walked into political quicksand by questioning civil rights laws. In Nevada, Sharon Angle demanded a debate with Senate Majority Leader Harry Reid when she was behind in the polls, but then backed out when she pulled even. In Delaware, O'Donnell's personal finances are under scrutiny, and today she abruptly canceled an appearance on Face the Nation set for tomorrow. And yet she had many fans in the crowd of state party activists Friday night. With a lot of these folks, there's this sense that she was uh, mistreated during the 2008 campaign, that she can't get a fair shake uh, from the media today. Indeed, attacking the news media took up four minutes of Palin's speech in Des Moines. We've got to hold the press accountable when you know that they're making things up and telling untruths. Palin did not tip together. her hand on future plans Friday night, telling Those the crowd to focus on November 2010 and worry about 2012 another time. But as she left the stage, she had a brief chat with reporters and told the New York Times, quote, I want to get back to Iowa soon. Dean Reynolds, CBS News, Des Moines.